Hi, everyone, and welcome to St. John's Presbyterian Church. My name is Dan Plant, and I am the chair of the Worship and Music Committee, as well as the tech team lead. With the COVID changes to protocols coming out on March the 21st, we thought we would just bring you guys up to speed on what we're going to be doing at St. John's. So I have with me the Reverend Robert Adams, and we'll see what we're doing at the church. So good morning. Good morning. So what are we doing with, as far as the uh, protocols with COVID and St. John's Church? Well, thank you for asking. Um, for the first little while, we're not going to make too many changes at all. Um, I think we've all learned in the past that when the province takes uh, safety measures away, usually we see an, an increase in the case count that, that is, is out there in the community. And so we've decided we're going to lag behind just a little bit and, uh, and hopefully uh, keep our people protected as that little bit of a, a bump will inevitably happen. So we're going to continue to keep the uh, green cards in the pews to keep people a little bit more evenly spaced. Someone noted this morning the, the cards are just a little bit uh, closer than they have been uh, in the past. Uh, they had been moved for Omicron and uh, uh, to have a little bit extra space and we've, we've brought them back uh, into uh, every, other, every other pew for, for seating purposes. And we're going to ask people to continue to wear their uh, masks for the next little while. Um, one of the things that uh, isn't taken into account when the province makes their change regarding masks is the fact that uh, we sing. Unlike if you're going out to walk through the grocery store or shoppers where you're just kind of doing your regular breathing and, and singing was found early on in the pandemic to be one of those very high risk activities that seem to help people uh, transmit the disease. So we need to also uh, be in consultation with the health unit in regard to what exactly our limitations are with both singing and masking. So uh, we will be following up on that over the next couple of weeks. Uh, and probably before too long, we will start to ease some of these measures. But uh, for now, we're going to keep things a little bit on the cautious side uh, because as as you are aware and as others are aware the reality is is that we have many folks here in the congregation who are just a little bit older and many uh, and several who are high risk uh, and who have been t protecting themselves very uh, diligently over the last couple of years uh, and so it would be uh, it would be a, a tragic thing to at this point uh, start exposing people to to an increased level of, of danger so for the next little while we'll con we'll remain as it, as we are but we will continue to be uh, constantly looking both at, at what's happening here in the building as well as out in the community uh, and uh, when we kind of feel that case numbers are, are back down to a, a good level or we don't see a bump at all then then we'll start looking at removing other measures as well. Great thanks. So just a reminder that we are going to have masking and distancing and if you feel unwell feel free to stay home and watch on our live stream either on YouTube or on Facebook. Thanks for joining us and have a blessed day.